Hey guys, it's Jam. Uh, as many of you follow Chia, we're involved in this thing called the Circular Drive Initiative. One of the major challenges in the Circular Drive Initiative is secure reuse, basically being able to take a drive, remove the user data, and then sell it to somebody else. Well, thankfully, all modern drives actually support this thing called sanitization built into the firmware itself. So there's a lot of confusion that people think you need some fancy proprietary software, or you need to overwrite the drive a certain number of times or do some special voodoo magic to it. Uh, this is all nonsense. The drive firmware actually supports this thing called Sanitize. It's supported in SAS, SATA, and NetVeam Express. So I'm going to actually show you how to practically use the media sanitization features built into the drive themselves to securely erase the data on a drive. Okay, why would you need to do this if you're just watching this? Uh, this is actually the proper way you should be doing this if you're selling a drive. So if you have some drives that you had your, stored your user data on, like on your NAS or your PC, and you're going to sell them on eBay or you're going to uh, sell them on Craigslist, you should properly media sanitize them first before selling them to make sure that all of your user data is gone. All right, we will do NVMe first. So the really nice thing about NVMe is it's all built into NVMe CLI. So if you just do a sudo apt install NVMe CLI, you'll get the latest version of NVMe CLI. Um, and if you just do an NVMe, you'll see all the commands here. And you can see the commands we're looking for in NVMe are sanitize and sanitize log. So what we're going to do here is sudo NVMe list. This is going to show us all the drives in the system. I have my boot drive. Don't ever sanitize your boot drive. That would be bad. <laughs> and you will have no uh, ability to boot. Uh, but these are the, the secondary drives in the system. I have two WD SNA40s that I'm gonna be using for this test. So this is a slash dev slash NVMe one namespace one. So I'm gonna going to do a sudo NVMe identify controller uh, for this device that I, uh, NVMe one namespace one, and I'm gonna do a dash human readable. And so this dumps out the identify controller information, which is in NVMe is amazing. You, so you don't have to guess what commands a drive supports or like what firmware features a drive supports. You can actually just dump out the identify controller and the controller will actually tell you all the information you need to find about the drive. So if you go in here, and now that's a lot of information, we can do that, and then we're gonna grep for uh, uh, SANICAP, and that's the sanitized capabilities, and we're going to uh, dash A5, and give us the sanitized capabilities of this drive. So this drive supports uh, there's three types of methods that are supported in Sanitize in NVMe. There's, and this is very similar to what we'll see in SAS and SATA, right? So there's overwrite, which is overwriting the data with a certain pattern, uh, be it zeros or some other known data pattern. Uh, this is obviously very bad for SSDs because SSDs have flash. You don't want to write them because that wears out the endurance. Uh, so SSDs have this nice sp special thing called block erase. So on, on a block erase, NAND is written in pages, which is 16 kilobytes, and they're erased in blocks, which is often 256 pages. So they're hundreds of megabytes, uh, you know, block size. And these erase blocks, basically, you, you fire off the erase block and it can erase all the data at the erase block all at once. So this is why NAND has stuff like over-provisioning, garbage collection, all this stuff, because you actually have to erase the NAND in bigger chunks than you actually write it. So, but this is actually really handy for sanitization because you can do this block erase, which is erases the whole drive. And even on a large capacity SSD, you can do this in a few minutes. Uh, now, crypto erase is the best thing you can do because uh, crypto erase happens in a few seconds and I can actually just change the crypto key in the drive. And so the, all the data is always encrypted. Even if you don't have a user, a user password, all the data is always being, being encrypted between the controller and the NAND chips themselves. They, the media encryption algorithms have like an AES-256 engine in there scrambling all the data. So the nice thing when you do a crypto key, it just swaps out that media encryption key and now all the data on the drive is rendered inaccessible. So now that we know that this drive supports block erase or crypto erase, we can do a sudo nvme sanitize command for a action two would be a block erase. And uh, you, you basically have to kind of look up the nvme spec to, to find the action. If you're using the latest version of nvme CLI, there's some additional help in there that yours truly uh, suggested uh, to the GitHub. Um, so, okay, so action two is block erase, and we're going to give it to slash dev slash nvme1 name. Now remember to triple check this, uh, 
triple check this because you're about to instantly wipe all the data off a drive in one command. So we did it. So that was simple. Okay, it didn't seem like it did very much. So if you go to sanitize log, and we're gonna do a dash h human readable on this, you can find out that it says sanitize in progress, this sanitize status, and then it says sanitize progress 0%. So if you're doing a block erase or something that took a lot, a lot of time, this would start incrementing. Now, as you can see, this jumped to 49% here because this entire block erase, uh, basically it only took 10 seconds or so. This most recent sanitize command completed successfully. So, so that was it. You know, Generally in a, the sanitize log in a drive for the newer drives, it'll tell you how long it's gonna take for an override, a block erase or a crypto erase. Uh, but uh, it's as simple as that. Now, often on some of the newer drives, if you do a sanitize, it may actually, uh, you know, completely wipe all the error log and kind of reset some of the other firmware stuff. So uh, if you have an SSD and you're selling it uh, or you're trying to you know, basically put it back to that factory state, that's what to do. Now on an NVMe drive, you, you may see there's a command called NVMe format. Now format existed before uh, sanitize. So on any drive that was NVMe 1.3 or before, before NVMe 1.3, so kind of if you're looking at on like a Intel P3700 or P4610 or some of these older drives, they use pseudo NVMe format. And now if you go look at the, the format help, you can see uh, SES, secure erase. You can do basically a block erase or crypto erase in the format in the old, but that's this is kind of the old way of doing it. Sanitize is a better command because the sanitize command actually will make sure all the data is gone in the over provisioning and the spare area. It'll uh, make sure that the controller basically uh, can't acknowledge any commands during the sanitize. And if you powered off the system or yanked the drive out and put it back in, the sanitize would keep going if you're doing some kind of erase. So sanitize is a little bit more robust in format, but uh, again, format is a way to also do this very quickly on a drive. Now, if you're just doing some internal testing and you wanna instantly reset a drive back to its factory state to, to do some testing, this is where I would do a format on it and it would instantly trim all the LBAs. Uh, if you if you don't want to, if your drive doesn't support either of those, um, you could just do a block discard. Uh, and let's see, oops, uh, do a sudo. And this is going to discard all the LBAs, which is going to trim them. Uh, don't use this as a security thing, like for reselling your drive. I mean, but honestly, if, if you trim the LBAs on, a, on an SSD, you know, you're basically telling that SSD controller this data is not used anymore. But this will also take a drive back to its kind of factory state of performance. So again, sanitize is different than these things. Format and block discard are really meant for clearing a drive, preventing from like basic user data recovery tools. But a sanitize is something that will prevent even very sophisticated tools from basically recovering the data. So now we're going to tackle a SATA hard drive. So if we do a sudo smart ctl a slash dev slash sda, you will see this is my, this is just a little two terabyte hard drive I have, a Seagate Barracuda in here to, to mess around with. Uh, and you can see here, um, you, they have a lot of the capabilities here in, in the uh, smart log for smart CTL. But if you wanna actually find out what this command, the drive supports, you can do this uh, hdparm command, so hdparm i, and it will tell you here, uh, it'll, show you this um, security command set. So not enabled, not frozen, not locked uh, and security race unit, 198 minutes. And, but it also supports the sanitized feature set. So there's two ways to sanitize the SATA drive. Most SATA SSDs, if they're newer, they'll support sanitize. If they're older, they'll support this uh, secure race or enhanced security race unit, which you basically have to set the master password. And uh, you know, which is, uh, you basically do this hdparm command here, hdparm user master password set pass, and then and then after you set the password, you do this security race unit, and it looks like this. Paste this in here, uh, security race unit, and then for the command. So that this would actually send a secure race command to the drive, and that's an, a, the way to properly secure race the SATA drive. Uh, the sanitize command, you can actually look at this sanitize status. It's si similar to how it was uh, the sanitize log page in NVMe. <coughs> it's gonna tell us uh, we're not doing a sanitize here because we haven't started it, but um, so sanitize idle. But if you did the sanitize progress and it was going, it would tell you what the progress is. So the uh, um, 
if you wanted to do a block erase or an override or something uh, with H with HTParm, you could do this sanitized block erase or whatever. But you know, this drive is going to—it's a hard drive, so it doesn't support block erase. It supports overwrite. So what am I going to show you? There's actually a cool tool called uh, Seagate Open Sea Chest, and this is uh, basically Seagate has open sourced their tools for doing stuff like smart racing a drive to sanitize firmware, all that stuff. So Open Sea Chest is really awesome. You can go in here into releases, um, into releases right here. And you can you know, kind of download the releases. I'm using this alpha build, but you know you can use whatever proper release. And uh, if you install the deb, it's going to install to slash opt slash open sea chest. But if you just download the binaries, uh, that also works too. So what we can do here is actually go into this open sea chest, and we're going to run this thing uh, called uh, erase. Uh, let's see, so open sea chest erase, and I'll show you these commands here. So uh, this is really cool. So you can see it's SATA only. Um, it's got utility options. It's got a bunch of examples here of how to erase the drive, but uh, it's basically going to tell you how to uh, secure erase the drive with, um, you know, uh, with this tool. And this is really handy because it's actually a little bit easier to use than, uh, than the uh, open source tools like HDParm. Now, I still love using NVMe CUI because I know NVMe CUI really well, but, um, you know, if you're using uh, SAS or SATA drives, these actually work really good. And it works on Seagate drives and it also works on WD drives. But you can see here, I did the little scan and found SG0, which is the same as SDA, which is my two terabyte drive. Uh, and what I can do is uh, if you go, if we go back to the uh, help, uh, help command on this, you can see these destructive data commands overwrite you can do an overwrite with a starting over LBA and overwrite with a range, but these aren't true sanitized. You can see the true sanitized has block race, crypto write, and overwrite. Now these are, the, this will actually issue the true sanitized command to the drive. This is a, a real sanitized command. And again, remember, if you do this to a drive, you can't stop it. So after you start the sanitized command on a hard drive, this may take 20 hours. And if you take the drive out of a system and put it in another system, it's going to keep sanitizing. <laughs> so. Uh, this is actually a nice thing. So again, if you're selling a drive, um, it is something you want to do. Now, a sanitized overwrite, it is going to write all the LBAs with a zero pattern. So it will also find any reallocated sectors or any other bad bad things that happen. So uh, what we're going to do is we'll go in here and look at the um, little uh, tool. But you can see you can do a sanitize overwrite, um, overwrite with just a range or something. So if you if you wanted to just test out uh, the drive, you know, you could do something like this. All right, so we're going to test out some of these commands in Open Chest. So uh, the first thing we're going to do actually is, so you have this tool. Uh, you could do DD as well. Um, there's lots of lots lots of ways to do this, but we're actually just going to look at the uh, drive. We're going to use XXD to look at SDA, and you can see uh, lots of zeros, lots of zeros in this drive. This drive is. Uh, as you can see, I already sanitized it. So what we can do is actually run this little FIO command. And if you uh, remember FIO, you can, by default writes random data. And so I'm going to sequentially write this drive. I'm going to run it for, let's we'll say, uh, you know, 15 seconds here. We can, uh, and you can see this is going to basically do a sequential write to this drive full of random data. It's writing at 210 MIB per second, which as you guys know, 200 IOPS. This is uh, pretty pretty consistent for a you know, kind of low end. This is a little two terabyte hard drive. So yay, okay, so that's done. Now if we run that command again uh, with XXD, now we see a bunch of gobbledygook. This is random data <laughs> because FIO is writing much random data to the drive. So what we can do actually is run this open C chest command. There's, this is not the official sanitized command. This is just the, the practice one, right? This is just an overwrite where you can you can give it a starting LBA or starting position when you can give it some, some time. Uh, let's see if I, let's see if it'll actually work with seconds. Uh, let's see seconds 20 and this confirm it or erase data. Okay. So now you can see we are writing zeros from starting LBA. It's going to write for about 20 seconds. Uh, I should, should be exactly 20 seconds, I guess for, for the app. But, uh, now you can see this is just overwriting it with, with zeros. Now, Again, this is not the official way to do the sanitizer. I'll show you that in a sec, but this is just a nice way to test out that the tool in your software is working. So now if we go do an XXD, you'll see 
the drive is has zeros again. So now if we want to do a real proper sanitize command, we can remember just run this command here to get the help. Uh, and we'll go up here and look at the sanitize overwrite. So this is this is the big this is the the real one, right? So we want to do sanitize overwrite. This is the actual sanitize command. And if we go in here and let me clear this so you guys can see a little bit better. Uh, if we do the sanitize overwrite uh, and start it, it's going to tell us, yeah, we can't do this yet. You need to add uh, to sanitize. You can, if you wanted to do block race or crypto race on an SSD, you could also do that. But we're going to say confirm this will erase the data. Okay, so we are going to confirm this will erase the data. So sanitize has started. So that's it. Um, the sanitize command is going to be run in the background. And now if we do a progress command, so this will give us the sanitize uh, command will give us the progress. Um, so remember, uh, sanitize cannot be stopped. <laughs> Once you start this on the drive, there is no turning back. There is no, there's no going back. Um, so this, the good thing about this open sea chest is it'll work on SAS or SATA or actually works on NVMe as well. But um, again, I prefer NVMe CLI just because it's a little cleaner, but uh, this is a really handy, handy tool to basically use. But now we can just basically check the sanitized status. Uh, and again, sanitize in SATA, you, you can't do anything to the drive. You're not going to be able to write data to this drive. You're not going to be able to do much to this drive while the sanitize is in progress. Uh, and if we go back and do that HDPARM command uh, that we looked at, history grep hd parm and look at the sanitized status uh, it should give us the same thing yep so zero percent it just increments in it, higher higher percentages the, the seagate tool gives us a little bit more more insight into this so uh with that that's easy right again um every drive natively supports the sanitized command especially any drive that's been built in the last five years <laughs> will definitely support this command and uh, this is the official proper way to securely re remove data from a drive before selling it, before uh, transferring ownership of it to a different company. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, I showed you guys a, a couple of nice ways. Again, you can do the same thing on that I did with the NVMe drive on SAS or SATA with uh, the OpenC chest. Um, there is an other way to do this with uh, SGUtils, and there's ways to do it with HDParm. So there's lots of open source nice options to do uh, this uh, sanitization in, but uh, again, I, I really like OpenSea Chest for SATA and SAS because it's it just works really nicely. Uh, and then I do like NVMe CLI for NVMe Express drives. So uh, with that, hopefully that was a nice quick crash course on media sanitization.